I'm Robin, um, also known as Lisa Prank, my, my crazy alter ego. I am 27 years old. I grew up outside of Denver, um, Colorado, and I moved to Denver when I was 17, and um, I lived there for um, some years. <laughs> I started strumming on the guitar when I was in high school. Um, on acoustic guitar, but it didn't really stick with me until I got an electric guitar when I was like 19 and um, Something about playing the electric guitar really I just felt I, I felt more inspired to write songs on electric guitar than I ever did on acoustic Two thousand seven was like my nineteen ninety four, and I got really into like grunge and uh, and Riot Girl and stuff when I was I when I was that age, and I uh, bleached my hair blonde like Courtney Love, and um, that was when around the time when we started Lost Cats. It was a band I started with my best friend at the time, and we both didn't didn't really know how to play our instruments. Um, she played drums and I played guitar, so we started the band um, kind of. Uh, to learn our instruments together. I um, was in a place where I didn't have a band and I wasn't, I didn't really have any ties in Denver and I kind of wanted a change. And so I got a job working at, um, at SIF at the Seattle Film Festival. Um, and I had a plan to um, drive out here and play some shows on the way and then just sort of like uh, work for a few weeks and see how I liked it. And I ended up liking it so much that I, just I stayed. <laughs> um, Taco Cat likes to say that they kidnapped me, <laughs> which I think they kind of did. <laughs> but I, I, I was happy to be kidnapped. <laughs> when people ask why I moved to Seattle, my my first answer is usually uh, I moved to Seattle for grunge. <laughs> My favorite thing about Seattle's music scene is how supportive everyone is of each other. Um, everyone celebrates each other's success, and at least everyone that I'm friends with. And um, I feel very inspired by like the art that my friends are making, and it's really cool to be a part of a creative community uh, where people are, are constantly making new stuff because it makes me feel inspired to make new stuff and keep up. <laughs>
say like that my music is Oh, I say a lot of things. I say Trapper Keeper pop punk sometimes. I say babysitter. I've been saying babysitter punk lately, which I think is funny. <laughs> um, but mostly it's just songs about uh, about my big dramatic feelings. <laughs> but then when I started writing songs alone in my bedroom, they tended to be more introspective and more about my feelings. I feel like it's like how um, you don't really like write in your journal when everything's going fine you know like when everything's going okay in my life I don't really feel the need to like um, write a song about it or like be introspective about it so so when I started writing songs for myself it a lot of it came out of a place of um, having feelings that I needed to express for Lisa Frank they've been mostly feelings related to love and heartbreak <laughs> and um, I think that that's just what I was really focused on when I was working on this last record and what I was thinking about a lot. Like, a lot of the songs, I don't know, I think I'm writing a song about somebody else, but it's always about myself, you know? It's always about how I was feeling or how I was interacting. I guess I'm just trying to relate the most to anyone who's ever had a heart. <laughs> That's so cheesy. I can't believe I just said that. I hope that I get to uh keep playing and writing new songs that i'm excited about and connect to people and um have a nice life hanging out with my friends <laughs> uh the advice i would give to young people who want to start bands is just to do it and uh book a show before you even have any songs um because it will force you to write them <laughs> I'll try to argue, I'll hold it, I can't feel.